So, hi. Here we go because my husband insists on us sharing doing, sharing things. Mm -hmm. um, a few days ago, I was leaving the NICU, and it just is um, emotionally draining on every part of you physically as well just just a, like an overall exhaustion and um and overwhelming emotions all the time and so it's always really hard for me to walk away from our baby and go get in the car and sit down and get things ready to pump to be able to go make the drive home and all of that kind of stuff and so i usually turn to music as my safe space um kind of reset and allow myself to find my joy again so that I can come home and pour love and joy over my family here. And uh, a song came on by Lauren Elena and the phrase is what would you what do you think of me? What do you think of when you think of me? Yeah, what do you think of when you think of me? And it talks about relationships and I I was driving and I thought back on my own relationships in the past and um, one of my one of my first loves um, you know it ended obviously because I'm here with him but um, I remember writing a letter and putting things in the box that reminded me of the relationship and of him and saying that when I look back on this relationship I'm gonna remember the best times and I tried my best to to do that and so then my mind started going and I called him and I was like I think this is what's missing in the world mm -hmm. I think that if we can all look at our past relationships and they may have been in your moments of fighting and mess and the ends fairly toxic um, if you can choose to focus on taking the good out of that, using it as either a life lesson to better yourself as a person, to learn how to communicate better, to... How you grew. Yeah, to that. find out who is your person. You get to learn, like, you learn better about yourself on how to love better, and those types of things. And so when you can look back and basically say thank you to every encounter that you've ever had and appreciate that life, and it may not have been a good person, or that person may not have been making good choices, but if you can learn from their choices or their mistakes or their actions and better yourself to better the world around you, then then that's enough and be able to appreciate that. And sometimes you leave a situation and you should choose to pray for them, that, that they will have an encounter that will make them better as well. Or maybe you are that positive influence on them to be better. And and we had some hardships in um, having having babies in the beginning. We had fertility issues, um, and then and then we had two miscarriages. And we love our angel babies very much. Mm -hmm. But during that journey, I remember realizing how many things have to perfectly align and come together for life to be created, and that every life is placed on this earth for a reason. And if you can choose to take each of those encounters that you have and acknowledge that there's a reason why they're here and you choose to take the good from that encounter to improve things and spread love and joy and goodness, then then you can create a better world immediately around you and then I think that that is contagious and it will spread faster than COVID. Yeah, and to tie that into present experiences, NICU, you could just be like, oh, this is hard. Well, it is, but maybe there's good in it and we're there for a reason and we got to help the hospital change policy that helped a lot of parents to be there together with their kid instead of just one parent at a time. And we've gotten to meet some wonderful people because we choose to see the good. I don't know if that's because, but you can take that away from the NICU experience 
Well, we've been we've been extremely blessed with our NICU experience. Yes. Our son has been He's progressing awesome. and is stable. And so I genuinely think that I have no idea what it's like to be getting bad in, news. Yes. And so instead of saying that they should be more positive, I would say that I can be here and I can be a voice for them and I can see them. I can say, I see you. I'm praying for you. Yeah. And I can in, even not even telling them, I can just pray for them and try and create a better environment for them to be in. And then I choose to take this NICU experience that is very hard on us to at least improve where Sorry, I yeah. can. And you won't always have the energy in the moment to walk away and know the good that you found. It might take you some time. I can definitely say that with some of the relationships that I have been in or friendships that I've had. But I take them all as life lessons and try and do better as a person for to better other people. Yeah, but my rambling because we're tired. But I think tying it back to the song, <laughs> when she heard the song when she, she was all inspired, called me yesterday, but we didn't have time. Because um, what do you think of when you think of me? I think right now with uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter culture, everyone wants to assume the worst and be outraged. I can't believe he said this word or this thing or, oh my gosh, this is so bad that this happened. Instead of, what do you think of? Is that what you think of? The bad, the worst, you're assuming they had ill intent? Or could you think of, maybe they're struggling. Maybe they meant to say it a different way. Maybe they're actually just making a funny joke. We don't have to be mad about it. We can think of the good and give people grace. And that's cliche, find the, find the good in all experiences. But man, we've been trying hard to do that with this experience. And it's been, I say it's been awesome. It's been more emotionally hard on her, but you can well, find it. It's the, okay. It's okay for things to hurt you emotionally. Yeah. But choosing to find good later like I said in the moments it's really hard but when you look back on like the song you look back on the experience what can you gain from it mm -hmm. what good can you find in it it may take some time to step back and look how at can it. it help you to share more love so that's our random rambling tidbit for the NICU experience and just seeing the good sharing it and when you look back on it and you can cut out all of the things that was rambly of me yeah. when you edit this video I will not edit it because I'm too tired so anyways tips from tribe go Do through good. stuff be good share, share. over <sighs>